Okay, guys. I'm a bit close to this mic. Okay, guys, and welcome to this week's video. This is this video is the podcast of battle, the charity race on Zwift, the one that I've been looking forward to. Holly Bergen versus Nathan Craig. This is going to be one really good Zwift race. So this race I've been promoting for the past few weeks now on my YouTube channel. My Ryan Condon epic Zwift races started back in February when I announced a random race I'd entered with no expectations anyone would join and loads of you did. It blew me away and this race gave me my first real taste of the Zwift community in its full glory. Then in April I set up another bonkers race up out to Zwift, not expecting anyone mental enough to want to do that. Turns out you're all just just as bonkers as me with over 240 of you joining me to set new PBs up the Alp. Okay, so I've got 30 minutes until the race starts. I've got to set up all the technical stuff here. If you could see the screens that I've had to keep going here, I'm on the Discord channel for voice. This race is the uh, third the epic video. race and it's a little bit and different in that it wasn't a Ryan epic race, but more a Zwifting community epic race named the podcast of battle. Sherman, did you put like laxatives in his drink? G'day guys. Ryan. G'day. <laughs> How are you? I'm all right, you? You're a little bit, your audio is a little bit. Is it a bit funky? Weird. Classic Ryan. <laughs> it wouldn't be a Ryan show without something. <laughs> <laughs> so I muted my mics and got ready to race. I wasn't there to chat, I was there to race. So the course is, I'm just going to say it really quickly, the course, I've already done a recon video, the course is Cliffside Lava, no, Ocean Lava Cliffside Loop. That's the course. So all in all, it's like 30 odd K, you know, I really don't know the details. Let me have a look. So it's 38.3 kilometres and it's only 312 metres. I say only. Most of that 312 meters comes with the start of the Epic Com reverse. We don't go up the Epic Com, so this isn't an easy ride. One thing I am going to do is I have decided, where's my gun? I've decided to go with the Trekamonda, because that's my lightest bike, and my wheels are going to be the lightweight Minimum Stones. This really did feel like a big budget community event. I loved being part of it, and I loved every second of racing in it. Honestly, okay, guys, we're in the pen, form. and we have got seven yeah. minutes until the start. So what we'll do guys is we're gonna sit on Holly's wheel for the entire race. It's a scratch race, means that it's first across the line. I think that's what it means. But instead of it being the first in the team across the line, it's the first one out of Holly or Nathan to cross the line. So our job in their teams is to help them successfully cross the line first. We're about to go live on YouTube. <laughs> then it was also live streamed by Esports Studio on YouTube with full race commentary. Good morning, good evening, and good day. I'm Andrew Hudson, your race compare for today. Lots of YouTubers in here today. We've got Ryan Condon. I got a shout out, Mum. I'm thrilled I was able to be involved. Less so when I get another shout out later in the race and not for my awesome racing. Keep watching to find out what went wrong. I jumped into the pen early, which is very much unlike me. I started posting comments, welcoming everyone. I did a warm up. I've also got Scarly sat here with me. You're the technical wizard for this video, making sure that all of my systems keep working. And when we eventually get going, you will see that there were over 170 riders in this race, which was awesome. Now, as you can hear, and I've already mentioned this, there was a Discord channel specially set up, not only for Nathan and Holly to talk trash to each other, and it was the worst trash talk I've ever heard, but it was also open to anyone to join, so we could all ride together, listening to the heavy breathing of our race leaders, with the occasional insult being thrown by Holly at Nathan. Is he, is he saying Yorkshire is. wrong? Can you, is there a right way to say Yorkshire? Yeah, Yorkshire. Not like Yorkshire. 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 <laughs> 40 seconds. Right, can you write? Good luck all. Let's just put, let's go, let's go. The course is a tough one. So if you skip to the end for the epic sprint finish, then you'll miss the point of what this race and this video is all about. It's about community spirit, hugs, and something about love. I don't know, the auto queue is going too fast. And the second point is that 100% of the proceeds from this video after the first month live on YouTube, I'm gonna donate to Nathan and Holly's charities equally because this race was a charity race. We're doing it for charity. My videos pretty much stopped generating any revenue after a month. This seems like a good benchmark, plus this was a charity race, so this is how I can support it, as I'm not supporting it with my awesome drafting. <laughs> 
And this is the best part. You can indirectly support these two very worthy causes simply by watching this video all the way through to the end without skipping. Five, four, three, two. So I get off the start line, dropping reasonably high watts for me. Now I'm gonna be completely honest, I hadn't discussed tactics with my race leader, mainly because he was a faster and slightly lighter Zwifter than me. I knew he had very capable B and A cat Zwifters to help him, so I fully expected Nathan to have a plan and would sprint hard off the start line. At this point, I was expecting to have to hold a sprint for a good few hundred meters, but I didn't. Apparently his tactic was to play it safe. There is a big climb on this course, and it makes a lot of sense to hold some matches back for that climb, but Holly left the start line in a blaze of glory. She full on sprinted off the line, maybe holding something for the climb was playing it a bit too cautious. We don't need no weekend memes. We wanna bang our heads and we army threads getting torn into shreds. I tucked him behind him, hoping he had a plan, and knowing that I'm not quite as strong as him, and definitely not as strong as some of the A's and B's that were in the team, my tactic was simply to ride in the draft, save my energy for the climb, and, and I've written this in capitals, don't get dropped. This race so far is a very, very spicy one. This is where the race is gonna be decided. At this point, Nathan is in a good position. He's just behind Team Holly's pack. They're in effect drafting for Team Nathan, which is no bad thing. Now, if Nathan can keep tucked in here, quietly drafting Holly. Thank you to those that I'm drafting. But this is a race of two laps, remember. Anything can happen, especially when most of the 380 plus meters of climbing comes in one big climb. Now, I will say, as I spin up this small gradient, choosing to use the climbing bike and wheels was 100% the correct decision. As we reach the top, I have to get out of the saddle and push here, as I could see the double race pack was starting to get split apart. To stay in this race, Nathan is going to have to push here to keep up with Team Holly. If you're in Team Holly and you're dropped, wait for lap two. Just stop and wait. I'll uh, keep an eye on Nathan. As we came around the bend and onto the flat, we could see the gap between us and Team Holly was now huge. Some of the blues just in front of us were now dropped from Team Holly and were now inadvertently helping to draft our team. Nathan's got a yellow beacon and we can't see Holly's beacon. Oh, okay. Yeah, notice that. Okay. Yeah. I got a yellow beacon above my head. Well, each team's got their own beacon. And can't see each other, I don't think. Uh, Ryan is still with us, so he, we won't be going fast. Then I hear someone on Holly's team call me out as an indicator of how slow we're all going. The fact that I can keep up means Nathan isn't pushing. I have no idea who this is. Give me a break. I'm bursting blood vessels to stay here. Cheeky git. Just because he can't keep up with Holly, don't take it out on me. We then reached the awful dreaded first climb. In my recon video, I couldn't keep up with Nathan. Having just heard someone on Holly's team call me out though, I was now even more motivated to power up it and stay with Nathan. Remember that Nathan is going at his own pace. The team pack will only go as fast or as slow as him. The role of the faster teammates is to drag Nathan as fast as possible, but they can't let the elastic snap. So they have to maintain a pace Nathan can hold without dropping him. The fact I can keep up is because I'm burning every single match I have to do so. Having really capable Zwifters like Marky Mark and Doom Guy in our team was what Nathan needed. It's all very well and good me being here, busting lung to stay with him, but he now needs the Zone Tours, help him to drag him if he's got any chance of closing the gap that's now growing. Now I did it, I got to the top of the climb with Team Nathan. Changing my gears on the Watt bike to climbing gears and racing on a climbing bike was a genius decision. 
Hey, fail him, Nathan. Oh, a bit tough. Come on, Nathan. Hopefully she'll tire out soon. We can catch her up. Now, I'm still here just, but I have to keep on sprinting to stay on the wheels. I'm trying to help. I promise Mr. Flaming Bloody Obvious on Discord then shares that Team Holly is now 23 seconds ahead of us. You're in the front still, Holly? Uh, yeah. You're 23 seconds ahead. We could still close this gap. The big climb is still to come. Anything can happen. Getting up the climb of the pack on lap one was my fundamental goal. Then I could hopefully help draft on the rollers and descents. That was plan A. If I could get there, then I knew I could hang on for lap one. But, and this is a big but, I did have a plan B. If I did get dropped, and let's face it, I'm racing a very capable C who's trying their best to keep up with the A's and B's. And they're trying their best to drag the team past a great Britain Championship Zwifter, Holly, if you've watched my podcast, then you will know how good Holly really is on Zwift. And if I do get dropped, then the plan is to wait for Nathan at the top of the climb. My finishing position in this race is not important. The aim of this race is to support my race leader across the line by throwing motivational comments at him on screen and possibly help the team with the draft. I'm not helping him or the team if I'm dropped and tootling along at 150 watts, two minutes behind them. Okay, so climb. Ah, uh, Nathan is dropping. That's good. Come on, Nathan. You can do better. Who is this guy? It's almost as if he knows he's going to be on YouTube. He's one step away from shouting, Hey, mum, I'm on TV. Nathan needs this professional heckler in his ear like he needs a hole in his head. <laughs> I'm now dropped. I'm giving it everything I have, but unfortunately, I have nothing left. To stay with them, I need to be dropping 400 or even 500 watts, and I just don't have it anymore. Later, they're doing 3.5 on the climb, so. I've done really well here, even if I do say so myself, as this is a big climb. And I'm going to say that the guy in our ear. <laughs> Good, Nathan. Wait for Ryan. Family friendly, Ryan. Family friendly. And that's it, I'm dropped. I expected to be dropped here. I'm over the moon I've made it this far with the team. So I spent the next few hundred meters deciding what to do. I take the decision to implement plan B. Stop, forfeit my race, and wait for Nathan on lap two. So I'm dropped completely. So I'm thinking, if I wait here for Nathan to come back round, and then I can help him. I'm gonna wait here for it. And then Mr. Hudson calling me out live on YouTube. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate that. I need another heckler. So Huddo's just called me out on the stream for not peddling. Ryan, he's either frozen or he's spat the dummy or he's having a rest. I'm not quite sure what's going on with there, but he's come to a standstill though. There's not much peddling going on in Ryan Condon's stream. I don't know what's going on there. I've been dropped, so all I'm gonna do is help draft other dropped riders up to Nathan, which that's if I catch him. The aerodynamic haircut, maybe that did, didn't pay out. The aerodynamic haircut did help. Bloody know-it-all Aussie commentators. Hopefully you can catch up a bit of time here. If Nathan got dropped, he's going to wait for Nathan in late lap two. Thanks, Ryan. I think that's not a bad strategy. You could do that, certainly do that. That's a great strategy to have is to then, if you do get dropped, to get picked up on that second lap. Thank you, sir. I've always liked listening to Mr. Hudson on YouTube. He certainly does know his stuff. At this point, I will say that I had no idea what his position was. If he could, or if he would, close the gap between himself and Holly, and if those around him needed fresh legs to help with the pulls on the last stretch. So I'll wait patiently, listening to the terrible trash talk on Discord, for Nathan to come back around and I can help. Are they across the bridge already? <laughs> Sorry for my breathing. It's a bit shit. Okay, here we go. Nathan is coming up the climb but I've changed my bike to a racing bike and I'm gonna TT him to the finish line. Come on Nathan, almost there now. So having waited patiently for team Nathan to complete lap one, I sprinted to catch up. Oh. 
having been caught off guard and napping. I caught off guard. To be fair, the riders around him were great. They didn't really need me, but I felt like I was helping in some way. They stuck with him, which was awesome. Well done to these riders on screen now for helping to pull him around the course. This was fantastic team support. At this point, we knew the gap that Team Holly had created wasn't really bridgeable. Unless Nathan had a second wind and pushed a, you know, a mammoth FTP busting effort for the next five minutes, which was unlikely. So this was now a case of just getting the job done and crossing the finish line. Nathan turned up and delivered a massive effort. He smashed it on this ride. Oh man, number one, number one, number one. I just want to say a big thank you to my daughter as well, Scarly, who um, was brilliant in supporting me with the technical stuff. She was fixing stuff in the background on the computer, replying to messages. Yeah, I couldn't have done it without her. Great job. Great job, Tim Holly. She didn't let up. She did it, Poggy. It was always going to be a big ask to beat great British team Zwifter, Holly. <laughs> Great job, man. Great job. Great, Nathan. Our team didn't win, Team Holly did, so a massive well done to them again. Awesome job, you smashed it. We then pushed it to the finish line and I made sure to cross it with him. Good job. Good stuff, y'all. Well done, everyone. And we finished the race. I mean, I say we finished the race, Team Nathan finished the race. I still had a lap to go. Here's my friend Norwegian Watts. I thoroughly enjoyed this race, having everyone come together to work as a team, help each other, and most importantly, have some fun on Zwift. It wasn't about ability, speed, or power. It was about riding with other like-minded individuals. So well done to everyone that was involved. It was great to have been in a race with you, regardless if you were Team Nathan or Team Holly. I loved being part of it. And of course, well done to Nathan, who destroyed himself trying to keep up with Holly and her team of awesome Zwifters. Holly, you are a beast. When the official racing ended, because I had stopped to wait for Nathan at the top of the climb, I had another lap left to go. It was then that I noticed another rider who also had another lap left to go as well. Another YouTuber named Norwegian Watts. I enjoy watching his videos. He's on a weight loss journey the same as I was. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. We then had some fun on the second lap together. Just two guys taking turns on the flats and dying on the climbs. Social riding in the Watopian sunset. Just the two of us on the second lap was just as much fun as the smash and grab of the first lap. I enjoyed making this video. This is why I love Zwift. See you in the next video guys. Thank you for watching until the end and not skipping.